All right, in today's video, I wanted to walk you through whether or not you should trust Google Ads and the variety of topics uh, I picked out for this. Their, their answers are a little different. So I'm gonna go over the actual Google Ads platform, the actual tracking inside Google Ads, the optimization score, and then the Google Ads specialist that may sometimes get in contact with you. So to start that off, the actual Google Ads platform, I give it a resounding yes, I love Google Ads. And I'm, I might be biased in saying this, but they're one of the most professional advertising platforms on the planet. And they do not have, uh, they do not allow any funny business whatsoever. They hate misrepresentation when it comes to advertising. They do not advertise with any sensitive topics. So like think drugs, uh, any, anything revolving around any sensitivity whatsoever. They just flat out get rid of it. Uh, it is absolutely a phenomenal platform to advertising on it, uh, to advertise on, and you can tell this by you know billions are spent on every single month in ad spend, and companies from local uh, small businesses to massive corporations use it when it comes to actually advertising their products. It's an absolutely amazing source when it comes to advertising uh, leads and the quality in it. I don't really think there's any other platform on the planet that can beat it. Uh, realistically when it comes to the amount of targeting and how professional and how high quality the ads are, or sorry, the leads are. Uh, there's a good story of a company in the States. They had hired a new ads guy and the budget, I think was like a hundred bucks per day. And he managed to put it in the wrong budget, spent $12,000 in a single day. And they phoned up Google ads and Google ads understood like it, it happens. People put in the wrong amount and they actually refunded the entire $12,000 back to the account. And they said, yeah, no issues whatsoever. And it just goes to show the actual professionalism behind Google ads and how well they are as a platform. And if they do see any funny business going on and your ad copy isn't good, or you're trying to game the system somehow, they get rid of that very, very quickly and they catch on. Uh, you may get them for a little bit, but it's not going to last lo long and they're going to suspend your account and then you won't be able to advertise with them anymore. So Google Ads platform is definitely trustworthy on an overall basis and uh, it's trusted by many, many companies around the world. The next thing is Google Ads tracking. So tracking inside Google Ads is pretty good. I trust it 80 to 90% of the time. Uh, it's not perfect, especially when it comes to calls uh, or phone call leads. Uh, I would say that's probably like 80% to 90% accuracy and don't take take it with a grain of salt is what I would say. Uh, if you're tracking actual lead forms, uh, so submissions through email inquiries, uh, you can definitely trust that. Um, and I, I've never really seen any examples of where it didn't track properly unless the tracking itself was set up proper, improperly. So it's generally not a Google's ads issue. It's a you set up the tracking improperly issue. <laughs> Google Ads tracking is very good, but also consider that there is some issues with uh, phone call leads, uh, and that's why we use third-party tracking when it comes to that. Um, the next thing is advice from optimization source. So I see this a lot inside Google Ads accounts, and people will be like, why isn't my score at 100%? And the issue there is Google Ads stereotypes and generalizes what the best accounts do, do and then it applies them to what the accounts that aren't performing as well should be doing. And the issue with that is even if an account is performing well, just because it doesn't use the same rules and protocols as an account that is performing good or, you know, around the same, Google will then think it's not, it, it should be doing something else because it's not following the, you know, general principles that make a good account. So you could have an account that's doing absolutely phenomenal, but then optimization score could be like 60% because Google just thinks, you know, you're not following the rules all the other accounts are doing, therefore your account probably isn't doing good, which I mean, to credit Google, it needs to provide the best results for the most amount of people. And that's how you do it. It just, it's not always, you know, optimal for accounts that uh, are doing well, but then it shows that they're, not doing well inside optimization score. Uh, so yeah, I don't take that one with a big grain of salt. I don't really trust it. It's a nice thing to look over and see like, okay, maybe that's something we could change. But you know, I generally don't look at it. Don't trust it too much. It's my advice. Uh, the next thing is Google Ads Specialist. I do not trust Google Ads Specialist whatsoever. Most of them are sales guys. And I have only heard horror stories uh, from people who have, you know, gone on the phone and the Google Ads specialist optimized their campaign and now their campaign is absolutely tanking because the Google Ads specialist thought they knew better than the people inside the account. 
uh, which is kind of funny because it's like, how can you know so much about an account that you've l never seen before and you're going to optimize it automatically? It's like, you don't know what they're running. You don't know what leads they're looking for. You don't know what type of clientele there is. Like, there are so many factors that you don't know about and you're going to optimize it. Like, give me a break. Um, so, yeah, I do not trust Google Ad Specialists. If you get emails or phone calls from them, be nice to them, but ignore them. <laughs> like, that's my advice. Uh, I don't trust them whatsoever. I've only heard horror stories uh, through Google Ads and through Google My Business, too. I once had a customer. Uh, they actually had a whole bunch of Google My Businesses page pages for their same business, and they had a whole bunch of reviews under each page. And essentially what was going to happen was they were going to merge all the reviews onto one Google Business page so it was easier to manage for the customer. What had happened was they deleted all the Google Business pages, deleted all the reviews, and gave the guy a new Google My Business page that was completely blank and said, job well done. And uh, yeah, he wasn't too happy. So Google Ad Specialists, I would say stay clear from them. So that's my recommendations on should you trust Google Ads? The answer is most of the time, the Google Ads platform is absolutely phenomenal. The tracking is pretty good. Uh, the optimization score, eh, I'll take it with a grain of salt. And Google Ads Specialists, I would say avoid them. Uh, hopefully that answers the question. Uh, if you have any other questions or comments, leave them down in the description below and I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, other than that, you guys have a wonderful day. Take care and be well.